going on YouTube so we have an XP farm and I am going to walk you through it so today we're going down here uh, here is the map here's Kiova shed for an ex for a little bit of a icon to give you an idea as to where we are straight south of there to this one and you're going to go to iron hold so we're going to go up here we're going to iron hold now you can do this on any tier you want uh, tier 2, if you are like really low level and you don't have anybody to play with for XP. Tier 3, which is what I'm going to be showing it on, gets you that nice little bonus. Tier 4 would be recommended. However, some people may not have the gear for it or anything. Me, I've been doing it on Tier 4. It's been a little bit of a struggle just because I don't have the full gear for it. Um, you can't see all my gear because I am in, on a ultra wide. I'm on a 49 inch monitor. And I have a video on that as well because all ultra wide monitor people will suffer from this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through the dungeon. First objective is to slay the key holder, the jailer with the key. And he's usually down this right path down over here. And he's going this way. You'll see him with a little skull icon. You can grab these if you want. You know, just don't even worry about anybody else. This guy right here. Guys, grab the key. I'm gonna grab that loot anyway. I'm gonna grab that loot anyways. And then start making your way to the door. I'm not ready yet. Once you get to the door, you go through, just keep on going. You're gonna get to this little transitioning part, which will be right here. Keep going. I am doing uh, whirlwind bleed now. Once you get down here into this second area, and the butcher can be here, I have ran into him once already, so just a heads up on that. Uh, what you are looking for, you're looking for big groups there to break right that big group of elites. Now, there are two groups. There's one more group down I'm here. Not ready. So we're going to see if we can find them quickly. Ah, come on. Leave me alone. Stop you seeing me. There we go. Get out of that. I'm asleep. He's not. Okay, so that's the objective here. Right? So they're not there. There we go. We're going to find this other group real quick. Or at least try to get quickly at it. There's gonna be one more big group. I must wait. That is down. Probably over this way. That's my luck is at the very last part. Of the one more. There they are. There they are. I can see them names. See the names already. And from here, you want to do just like you used to do at the old dungeon, uh, at Warmongs or whatever it was called. You're just going to leave. And this is where you have your choice. If you are solo, you can do one of two things. If you're in a group, it's a lot easier. Um, all you're going to do is, if you are in a group, you're not going to leave the dungeon. While you're in the dungeon, you're going to leave the party. And then your other friend is going to join what? on, you're going to join on whoever left the party because they're going to be creating a new instance because they left. If you are solo, you have two options. You can either, which this is why I pick up all the gear, because uh, gear gets, <laughs> it's going to get really expensive upgrading your gear and everything. I'll show you a snippet of uh, some some pricing when upgrading gear uh, here in, on the screen. Uh, the other thing that you can do, or the two things that you can do if you are solo, is you can leave the game, and it'll reset the dungeon. For me, whenever I left the game, it put me in a town, so I'd have to travel back there. 
um, but you can leave game if you want and come right back in. But what I typically do is I just come to town, I just look through my gear real quickly. Pop, 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 pop. Mm, nope. I just look through my gear really quickly, see what's on it, see if there's anything decent, see if I got any good rolls on anything, which doesn't look like I did. And then I either dismantle it, which I am going to dismantle that legendary, see if there's anything I need the transmogs for because. Yeah, I'm new to Diablo, and I'm just a collector of everything. My stash is absolutely filled. And by the time you get done doing this little run of putting everything, you know, putting your uh, you your jewels that you picked up, or putting your weapons up or whatnot like that. Going back go. is put everything up. This isn't like before. And I'm going to start this heading back, because typically it is a two-minute turnaround for it to reset. So, as long as you're in town, or just out of the dungeon for like two minutes, selling gear, checking out the gear that you got, seeing if you got anything good, breaking it down or anything like that. I'm not ready yet. And by the time you get back, it's usually reset. And if it's not, then just go ahead and leave game. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see if it reset. It did not, because I went too quick. Normally I do a little bit longer, this time I was trying to rush for the video. Um, but leaving the game and coming back, it's always, you know, the better option, or not the better option. It's always a option, because it's really quick and it's guaranteed to work. You just leave game, come back in, and it's reset. Boom. I'll do it real quickly. But like I said, typically, I actually like to go through and grab all the gear and sell it, because, like I said, gear gets really expensive as far as, um, materials needed and the gold. So that's why I typically have been just going to town, selling it, checking things out real quickly. But you can always do this, which I know some people prefer this. I'm not uh, the only bad thing about leaving the game, though, is if you have any potions on when you leave the game, is your potion is going to be consumed. So your potion will be gone. So if you had any XP potions and you're leaving the game, you better have a whole ton crafted. And there we go. And the dungeon is completely reset. You can go one more time. You're gonna go through this beginning part as quick as possible. We don't care about any of these people. You wanna to go to the right. And yes, I know these are generated, but typically the jailer has always been on this side. Front. I have actually never seen him on a different side, and holy crap, the CC is annoying right at the moment. Like I said, you're gonna go to the right side, and you can kill these elites if you want. Me, I just bypass them because it's just, they're not trying to help. They're kind of just weighing me down from getting to where I want to Once you kill the jailer, I must wait. And you kill those elites if you want to. You're gonna come in here. This time we have the level, which I'm not a big fan of, however, you can in a way speed it. If I were to hit those shots in the right time, you will in it, but uh, we're good. I got it to work. Hitting the shouts actually interrupts them hitting you, so if you're trying to hit levers or stuff like that, that can actually be really good. Hit that, we're gonna go this way, and we're looking for big packs of elites. There's always two of them on this floor, so we're just looking for the big packs of elites. Well, this is an event, I don't care. We are just looking for big elite packs. Oh, there they are. I may actually die here because I did not want to kill myself, but one. I think I might be able to try to be in the direction. I'm not big. ready. You can also get unique. Legendaries and all that stuff I'm doing. See, I'm still gonna grab the gear because, like I said, I just take the couple of minutes to set everything up and the last one. Grab that. I grab these as well. And then what we're doing I'm is we're just going for the second group. And 
If you're wondering why it's clicking like that, um, I have my scroll wheel bound to full smooth. And that was really quick having that little bonus thing on. And then once you're done with this, if you were in a group, you would just leave party. I am not in a group, however, though. So you just leave dungeon. You can go to town, sell what you want to sell, or just leave the game and reset it, and you're good to go. Um, try to get this in as much as possible. If you need to get caught up to some of your friends or whatnot, I would definitely use this. If you are wanting to do an alt, I would jump on this very quickly because they have been patching these within like 24 hours of them being showcased. So I would jump on it very quickly and uh, hope you guys have a good day. And I've been streaming, I have actually been on my Twitch every single day since this came, game came out. I did a 36 hour stream the day it was released, um, but I've been on every single day, um, at least a little bit before I go to work, um, before I go to work during the week. So I will see you guys next time. Hopefully you enjoy and hopefully you guys are enjoying Diablo 4. Me being brand new to the franchise, I am absolutely loving this game and I actually don't want to play anything else. So I'm loving it. A few things they could change, but I'll talk about that some other time if you guys would like. Um, let me know what you guys think about this farm below. Um, if you guys are wanting to get in on it or anything, you guys are more than welcome to tag friends or whatever below. Try to find a group, try to pick a group together because that is your bonus XP again. So you can get bonus XP from a group and bonus XP from a potion. And hopefully this will help you guys out, get quickly leveled up. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.